Welcome everybody to the penalty box segment for Tuesday, October 22nd. I've got four bets for you guys in five minutes. And before we get into any of that, I want to make mention that it is $5 Tuesday over at Wager Talk. Every handicapper picked one of their best plays and they are selling it for only $5. I have a very, very big play up for my clients tonight. It's my first 4% NHL bet of the entire season. We'll get into that a little later, but make sure to take advantage of the fact that these plays today, a Tuesday, uh, are only $5. Okay, let's get into uh, the first game. And right off the bat, we're going to look at the Buffalo Sabres at plus 130 against Dallas. Now, this is not really a play on the Sabres. This is a play against Dallas. I think this is a bad spot for the Stars. They're in that dreaded fly east, fly west, fly east situation. That's right. Two games ago, they played the Washington Capitals in Washington. They lost that game, flew back home to play the Edmonton Oilers, a huge rivalry uh, game for them and a game that might, uh, you know, that they need to win if they're going to have home ice advantage throughout the playoffs. So what did they do? They beat the Oilers. They played outstanding and they won 4-1. Then what? Then they got on a plane and flew back out east to play Buffalo tonight. And this Buffalo team, well, they're not even in the same conference as Dallas. This is going to be a letdown spot after the emotional uplift of playing against the Edmonton Oilers last game. We're going to get a young, hungry uh, team at home tonight playing against Dallas Stars and getting 130. That's what we're going to take. Take the Buffalo Sabres at plus 130. Now we turn our attention to Montreal and the New York Rangers. And I like the over in this hockey game. This is The number here is only six. And well, if you look at this, uh, if you break down this game from a Montreal perspective, this Montreal team is going to struggle defensively all year long. They just let the New York Islanders put four up on them. The LA Kings put four up on them. The Pittsburgh Penguins put four up on them. How many goals are the Rangers going to be putting up on them? Well, in the Rangers' last five games, they put up four, five, four, five, and six. Surely we could get four goals from the New York Rangers tonight against a terrible terrible defensive team in Montreal. And can we get two from Montreal? Well, Montreal scored 3-1, three, 3-4, three, and 4. Their only game below one and their, uh, below two in their last five was against the LA Kings. And I think with Cole Caulfield uh, playing as well as he is right now, six goals, goal in every game, uh, I think they're going to find a way to get a couple in the net here. I do think the Rangers win this game outright, but they are minus 250. So I prefer over the total of six. Now I got two more games to go, but I do want to tell you guys, make sure to bet my play tonight. I got a 4%, my first one of the season, and this is a money line play. I had nine of these last year. I went seven and two in them. I've had 30 of them over the last two seasons and I'm 21 and nine. This is a big play. It's a strong play. It's a play that should win easily. And it is only $4. You can get that over at wagertalk.com uh, and my page wt.buzz forward slash LP. Now we turn our attention to the Edmonton Oilers hosting the Carolina Hurricanes. And full disclosure here, I think the Carolina Hurricanes are a team I'm going to be looking to bet against this year. I don't think this is a team that is going to be as good as they were last year or the year before. And I think their window for a big playoff run has closed. In regards to Edmonton, they're struggling, no doubt. They lost their first three games. They just lost their last game to Dallas 4-1. They're 2-4 and four on the season. But now they're coming home and they have won two of their last three games. And I do think we see a better Edmonton Oilers team tonight. It's only minus 130. And I don't think we're going to see a lot of short numbers like that with the Oilers at home. So we're going to take advantage of that tonight and bet the Edmonton Oilers to beat Carolina. And I have no issue if you take it in regulation as well to get yourself a plus 120, plus 125 bet. And our last bet, and this is my favorite bet, of the of the penalty box segment. This is a client play. This is a 3% play that I've already released 
And that is over the total in the Vegas Golden Knights LA Kings game. The bottom line here is Vegas is 5-1 and one to the over this season. Uh, and not only that, but this is a team that just keeps scoring goals. This is not the same Vegas Golden Knights team as we saw in the past. This Vegas Golden Knights team, 3-3, uh, three, three, two, three, four, and 8 goals this season. They have not had one single game under 2 goals. And now they play the LA Kings. And the LA Kings, although they held uh, Anaheim and Montreal to one goal each game, each, uh, in each game, uh, they let six in against Toronto and eight in against Ottawa. I don't believe in this LA Kings defense. I don't believe in their goaltending. And frankly, I don't believe in the Vegas Knights defense or their goaltending either. I think the LA Kings are a team that is going to score. They just put up four goals against Anaheim and four goals against Montreal. I think Vegas is a team that's going to score. I think both these teams are going to struggle defensively, and I wouldn't be surprised if we see eight goals in this game. Take the LA Kings over. So to summarize, we like Buffalo plus 130, the Rangers in Montreal over six, the Oilers minus 130, and Vegas and the LA Kings over six. Thank you for watching, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow for the Wednesday version of the Penalty Box segment.